people welcome to Kimba's crafts my name is Kim and if you're new here hello welcome if you're returning welcome back guys all right so we are on December 3rd and I have my first sheet here I printed I just printed it and I did run into some um, roadblocks um, so what I did have to do is I had to download uh, Adobe Reader because when I was scaling it to the 108.1, like uh, di diamond painting between the lines had recommended, uh, it was not printing the page correctly. So I had to download the Adobe Reader and I printed it from there and it worked. So um, I followed the directions. I have the curved corner in the bottom right here. So it's printed on the proper side. Um, I have some fingerprints on it, you can see. Um, but, and I took a Sharpie to the name and the author. So you guys can't see, but I left page one because when we put it together, um, I think that's going to be important. Although, you know, hopefully it's going to look like an image that we can do almost like a jigsaw puzzle at the end. So we're not going to put the sheets together until the very end. I'm just going to be diamond painting sheets with you and, um, you know, take you along on the journey. And I think I want to say um, that I'm going to be able to do a half a sheet a video. So, um, but the first few videos obviously are going to be a little longer because I'm going to take you through my process of preparing the page. So I have, um, the double sided tape that Tammy had recommended here. I have, I have some scraps inside of here from when I was doing the other projects with you guys. So I have a full sheet available to me here. And um, it's larger than it needs to be. I can't remember. I'll be honest with you. I, I have to play back. Did she um, cut this to size? Hold on, guys. Let me play this back, and I'll be right back. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my old... light pad here. Okay, and I still have it out because I just got my new one because remember, we're not actually in December right now. And um, honestly, she said that page one should almost be cut off and it's not for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare it to, I'm gonna compare the grid. I'm gonna make sure my grid is right. Now this is going to be my test page, and if I fail, maybe I'll maybe I'll show this video just to show you the whole process, and maybe I won't. Now I have one of my Oraloas because their scale is is perfect, so I'm going to use my Oraloa. I did a sneak peek on this and I'm going to line it up on this and see if it lines up and that's how I'm going to check it.
this is not lining up. I don't think that this scale is big enough. Like, all right, let me just line up. Let me just line this, these, these ends up. dark sixes up. So start with I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to scale it again, and I can't show you. Hold on. Okay, let me see if this is bright enough to see through. Um, it's not. So I just scaled it up by one. Let me see something. I went to 109. Point one. I, I don't know why this. It's bright as all get out. I don't know why it's not. trying to line up the, the black because like if you have a lot of it's very difficult to see I can't tell if it's lining up let me see this again This is closer. I'm just trying to see if the squares line up. That's wrong. I wonder why. Hi okay, guys, what a disaster. So this is an Oraloa 
And I am going by Oraloa because they have the best grid. They have the best squares. They click in place. They're perfection. And so I want to do, I want, I want to make sure that it's the same size as Oraloa's. I pulled out originally an Oraloa round and we all know rounds are bigger. So I keep going up on the scale, up on the scale. And I'm like, why is this not fitting? And then I finally looked and I'm like, oh my gosh, I picked a round painting. Dur, dur, dur. The 108 is perfect. <laughs> so the initial one, I have all these sheets printed up, but the one that I started, the one that Tammy said, 108, I followed it all the way across and it lines up. It lines up all the way across. So this is right, um, I was going up to 111 guys because I was looking at a round diamond painting. Oh my goodness. See how much I love you guys going through all this craziness for a fun Christmas canvas. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. Um, we can turn this off. There we go. So I just needed that light to line everything up. So I'll put this away now. I have so much editing to do. I have so many videos to edit now. And they're not little videos. They're hours worth of videos. All right. And so we're, and I did watch her putting the adhesive on again and and she does cut it to size I still haven't gone to the gym yet it's almost six o'clock at night I started cleaning I cleaned the bathrooms I clore off the bathrooms and I'm washing the bathroom rugs right now so I'm drying them now um I, just, I need to go to the gym, so I need, I'm such a procrastinator. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's just get all of this stuff out of here. Okay, all of this stuff. We're going to stick with the page that we did. Okay. And we can cut it off. We should be able to cut off more than that. This is so difficult. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just going to cut it. This is my first page, so I'm, I'm worried about messing it up clearly. is a little smaller it should be a little smaller yeah it's a little smaller not by much okay now it 
comes off it comes off the, the yellow part the easiest so I'm going to oops off the white part easiest okay whatever floats your boat I just need it to come off all the way across turn this pad on but just lower it a little bit because I need to see the lines I'm gonna line it up let's line it up like this Jeez, I hope this gets easier. I'm so glad I started in July. <laughs> This is called a genuine bone folder, paper folder. Now, this is a 
um, I put it on the wrong side, guys. Oh my God. Okay, I, I quit. I quit today. <laughs> guys, I am not a quitter. <laughs> I, um, I did it. I did the whole thing uh, that I tried to do earlier. So here's my page, page one. And I printed up a new page and then I put the double-sided adhesive on the right side and we're ready to do the Aileen's Tack It All Over. I have my foam brush here. I watched the video again and so I know what I'm supposed to do, which I have to take this whole sheet off see that I'm leaving the double-sided adhesive there okay and I see bubbles I actually see bubbles but when I did the um, the thing here. I didn't feel any. Well, it, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. So I have Aileen's here and you have to cut this tip off. She said, don't go crazy. Just gonna brush it on. We want a milky like consistency or look. Okay, I can definitely tell that I'm gonna need more than what I put on here. I can see where I didn't get any. Let me see. All right, I can see it on here.
So she said you want a milky clay consistency. I think I like going across like this. I can really see. Okay, that looks good. Um, just going to There's a glop of glue there. Yeah. I don't know why it's glopping up there. Oh, it's probably a, a bubble. So it'll it'll dry clear. Okay, and so this takes an hour to dry. Oh, did I just throw the cap out? Oh my goodness. I might have just thrown the cap out. No, that was definitely the tip. Did I put it in my lap? You're a mess, Kimba. <laughs> I don't have, I certainly don't have my groove yet when it comes to this, but. We will get one. We'll have to get one because we have a whole canvas to do. Okay, I don't know where the lid is to this. I'll have to find it. I have to rinse my brush out and let this um, dry uncovered for one hour. And then we're going to put a second coat on. So I will meet you guys back here in an hour. And we'll go ahead and put the second coat on. And we're only going to go through this process together once. And then I'm going to prepare the sheets and just do the diamond painting part of it uh, for the rest of the videos. So, okay, guys, I'll meet you back in an hour. Okay, guys. So it dried for over an hour. I um, She says to dry it for an hour. It's very sticky. Very sticky. Um I almost feel like it doesn't need another coat, but I'm going to do it the way the way she did it because this is her system and I, you know, I want to try it the right way. So, and I know she said this is like preference whatever, but Oh, come on. I am not as good at <laughs> getting glue out evenly. All right. I feel like I feel like um, maybe it's spreading a little better or easier this time. I need more. I need more. I think I need more. Yeah, there's just a little more. I 
exactly. I feel like the edges could use a little more. Tomorrow we'll be ready to start. I also need to start doing this week's blocks on my Josephine wall because I haven't done any of those. This isn't as technical as she did it. Where you're good. I think it looks good. I think it's nice and even. And it's late, so I'm going to have to set my alarm and come back out here and put my cover back on. So I have to let it dry without the cover. And then when it's done, I'll put the cover back on. And we're gonna start this page this week. This is our test page and hopefully, hopefully it is all good because I, um, yeah, I don't wanna do this again, not for the same page. All right, guys, I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Okay, guys, so I'm editing this like months and months and months later, and the next video is a start of another video. So obviously I was doing this extremely late, and I think I had to set my alarm for like three in the morning or something crazy like that, and I went back and covered it and didn't record it. And yeah, so uh, this is the end of this video. So this is day three, December 3rd. And my next video kicks off December 4th, my mommy's birthday. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.